Hi, this is Susan and I'm a stylist with Color Street and I created this video to give you all the tips you need to know for applying your Color Street dry nail polish strips. First, I want to give you three tips that pertain to pre-application. So the first thing to remember is that the, this is real nail polish. So you can either get your nail polish in dry strips, which Color Street makes, or liquid in a bottle. So because it comes to you 95% dry, you don't want any air to get to your strips until you've actually put them on your nails. So please keep them in all the original packaging until you're ready to apply your nail strips. Now, as far as time goes for application, you can really apply them at any time because they are 95% dry, they are smudge proof, and they fully set in about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, with that in mind, I do have a little secret I like to share. You can see here, this is these are my nails, natural nails. These, this is the set called um, Glamsterdam, and you can see they still look really good, except I have a little bit of nail growth because these are 14 days old. I am changing my manicure today. So how on earth do I get 14 days out of a manicure with real nail polish and natural nails? The secret is. If you apply your nail strips and keep your hands out of water for a good amount of time until they can fully set, they will last longer. So I always do mine at bedtime after I've done any activity like brushing my teeth or washing my face where I have my hands in water. So I keep them out of water. I don't use any oils or creams until they fully set. So overnight is usually fine. Again, they won't smudge. And once they're fully set, then use your daily cuticle oil or hand cream. Now to prepare your nails for application. Very simple, you just push back your cuticles, file your nails, and right before putting the strips on, you wanna make sure you clean any excess oil off of your nail beds. So all sets come with an alcohol prep pad that you just use to on all of your nails, or you can use a well-saturated cotton ball with rubbing alcohol. So now, we're ready to go to application. So, a few things about applying your nail strips. As you get used to using the strips, you'll get a feel for which strips fit on which nails. So you can see there's eight different sizes and there's two rows here. So you have 16 strips. You can see how long they are. These cover some pretty long nails. So, it's not unusual for people to be able to use one strip to cover two nails, especially if you wear your nails a little shorter. I also use the regular manicure sets for both my manis and pedis because this bigger size I can use for both of my big toes and then I usually have enough excess from my hands that I use all my smaller toes. But this is the very important point that I wanna share and that is do not cut these strips while they still have their coating on them. You wanna peel the coating first and then use your scissors to cut them if you plan to use them on another nail, um, be it on your toes or on your hands, okay? So now we're ready to apply and I'm gonna show you how to get that coating off. So I am going to use, this is Tokyo Lights and you can see I've played around, I put one on my ring finger already. I'm gonna put this on my middle finger. I'm actually gonna use the, the bigger one um, so I have a little access and you can see how I clean that up. So I'm ready to go. There is a clear, you guys can see it. See, there's a clear coating there on the front. So you want to peel that off. Then you want to get the coating off the back. So this little white tab at the bottom, that is how you peel it off the back. These are easy to peel, but of course, I'm doing an unedited live video and it would, of course, give me a hard time. Yeah, there we go. They're very, they're, they're easy but you have one more little tab at the bottom and you just pull that off. So as you apply it to your nail, you wanna begin at the nail bed and you want to work it up, smoothing, pressing it down. So just make sure the whole nail is covered. Don't worry about any excess. Any excess, you can clean up just using your thumbnail. Get it all the way over the end and then you can serrate it either with your thumb, if you plan to use it on another nail you can cut it off or in the instruction video that color street sends out they um, show removing the access with a nail file 
but I usually use my excess. So I'm going to apply it to the middle finger. It's coming in close so you can see this. And I'm just pressing and smoothing as I go. So just press and smooth. Get it on the entire nail. And again, you can just pull it over the end. Let's say I'm not going to use that excess and I can just clean that off with my thumb. So because I use my thumbs for cleanup on the nails, I always polish the thumbs last. So you can just use them. If you have any excess on the sides, you just press and serrate. Now, you don't want to leave any excess on the cuticle. If you do, it can lift the nail strip. So to get any excess off the cuticle, you just work your thumb in pressing it into the nail bed, and then anything that's on the cuticle, you just peel right off. So again, just getting it in, and it gives you a really nice, clean cleanup. So you're done. These remove with real nail polish remover. So if you've had them on your nails for a while, just well saturate that cotton ball, give it a little bit of friction, and it they will come off, nothing fancy there. Finally, I always recommend that if you're just starting out, it might take you one or two manicures just to get your technique down. Okay, so go easy on yourself. And I always suggest starting with either a regular glitter set or a clear glitter set, because if you make a mistake, you actually, you can't notice it with the glitter sets and people will just notice how awesome your nails look. So that's everything you need to know about applying your Color Street nail strips.